let's take a look at our tail figure feathers and um, try to figure out how we're gonna slay that dragon we'll start with the horizontal stabilizer now we're gonna do this in half um, because it's symmetrical so we want to make sure that the left and right uh, come out even so we'll start just by cutting this thing in half come up and make our rounded corners uh, once we get the basic straight lines laid out. Now something we're going to look at, um, this thickness here doesn't agree with foam construction too well. So one of the liberties that we're going to take uh, is making that a little bit thicker. We'll just draw this in. That. So here now what we want to do is make from here to there 1 and 13 30 seconds. Hmm. Let's just say sixteenths. Sounds like a nice round number, right? Yeah, let's do thirteen sixteenths. And delete the guide. Get rid of that. Let's make some rounded corners. Hey, I don't like that rounding. So let's try it like this. I like that much gooder. Do it again back here. Now let's undo that. It didn't come out too good. One more time. Tangent at vertex works for me. And that's what that's going to look like. Copy it. Move it this way along the green, flip along green, and bring it back together. And what we've got is your basic H stab and elevator. Alright, let's work on this rudder and the V stab. this a little bit just so we have something to work with uh, as we build our shape later. Now 
uh, we'll have to take into consideration the thickness of our foam uh, that we'll work with here shortly. But right now, this is going to be all we need to worry about. Like I said, we'll come back and uh, work all that out here shortly. So right now we've got our V stab with our rudder and our H stab with our elevator worked out. Let's start assembling some parts and uh, figuring out where we're going to do slots and tabs and stuff like that. I'm going to pull this over. some extrusions and I screwed that up because I didn't press control but I can come back and fix it with one of those I'm gonna take that make it a component and we'll just say RCM 5 H tab. Create. Extrude that. Three sixteenths. Let's undo that because I didn't use control, so I'd have to fill in the other side. Three sixteenths of an inch. Control. Bring it up to even with that one. stab and stand it up. And we'll put this in the airplane. All we do is come to the center of the component and we're going to keep it on the green, green axis. Line it up on the center. I'm going to select the center again. That corner. Axis, even with the corner. Now, midpoint there, keep it on the red. Slide it forward. All right. Now on the original model here, the horizontal stabilizer is just sitting on top of the fuselage. So there's no recesses or cuts uh, that we need to make. We just keep it simple and keep it there like that. Just 
like this. Find a midpoint of the component. Press the green arrow, keep going the green axis, and we'll just get it centered in there like that. Then what we'll do is we'll grab it from this point, keep it on the blue axis. Slide it forward on the red to right there. All right, now we have a couple geometry conflicts, some foam that's inside each other, and we'll figure out how to work that out right now. There's a couple different ways we can do this. Uh, I'm just going to do some select all and intersect faces, then I'll pull it apart and make some erasures uh, of the unwanted geometry.